thanks for having me here today. I would like to thank Teen for all her help. It was a pleasure walking through the big scrub with her with stuff that she'd done over 20 years ago. Um, also, I'd like to thank Ralph Woodford for all his work. I was lucky enough to have a couple of years with Ralph and he's an inspiration to me. He passed away last year, um, but he's still up in that forest that he worked at, which is awesome. Okay. I work for Rouse Water, the local water authority. Um, our aim up there is to improve vegetation for water quality. It's old dairy country. Um, 1953 they put the dam in and after the cattle were removed and the dam had gone in, um, invasive weeds took over the site. Another thing I should mention is that the site is actually adjacent to the largest remaining part of the big scrub from the north coast is like 1% left and the big scrub floor reserve is the largest intact bit of that that's left up in the north coast. So connectivity to site is really good. On the, the picture here we can see the areas that have been worked, the darker areas that haven't, um, di different years when the works were undertaken. So the three, ma three main scenarios assisting the natural regrowth Ralph's methodology was to remove all the weeds. Um, he would leave the camp, inject the camphers, leave them standing as perches for birds to come in and do their thing. He also used a tractor in the drier months of the year to run over the lantana, which if you're doing it at the right time of year, you can actually kill up to 90% without even having to spray it. He would actually come through when it would reshoot and spray that the reshooting ones or hand pull them. Here's a photo below the dam wall where I work. I think the acacia melanoxylon that are in the picture on the left came up after works were done on the dam. The photo there is from 94. It had, had 10 years of, of work there. Um, again, all the weeds removed, a lot of um, pencil cedar or polycyus marii taking over. And then a photo from the other week that Teen took showing, yeah, the pencil cedars are still persisting, but the mature phase species are, are starting to push through and dominate parts of the canopy. Here's another photo, or three photos. The one up in the top, top left is camphor laurels before treatment, um, just after, after they've dropped all their leaves. And then again, a photo from a few weeks ago. It does say there that there were, after a few years, there were 19 different species of, of rainforest plants have come up. Um, haven't really gone through there and done any, any studies on how many there would be now, but it would be probably double what that number is from the initial three years. Here's a, a shot of some of the work that Ralph would do. It's sort of showing the top one, uh, how, how the lantana would have, would have looked and his his tractor method of slashing it down. He would often go over it a couple of times to break it right down. This would form like a, um, a really good mulch on the site as well. Again, he's allowing light to get into the site. Then there would be weed recruitment and native recruitment as well in, in autumn. And that's when we'd be doing a lot of our, our follow-up maintenance work on the site. Here's a picture of where the site links up to the, the old remnant of the big scrub, the big scrub floor reserve. And again, you can see a photo from a couple of weeks ago and what it actually looks like now. Lots and lots of new species, amazing work. The structural characteristics of the site are changing. The, there's still the, the early secondaries are in the canopy, but We've got a lot more um, latter phase species in the mid-storey coming up and again a great number of species increased in this site. And the wheel, how good does my wheel look? <laughs> look, look, it's not really my wheel, it's Ralph's wheel but it's what I aim. I'm aiming for and I, look I'm really lucky that I can have a wheel looking that good. <laughs> Here's an old picture of the dairy that's not far, only a couple of hundred metres from where most of those shots were, were taken and 
and yeah, the old milking bales with the, um, the forest taking over and growing through the concrete and cracking it all up, which is a good one. Thank you.